Here are the new distributor and the old. Um, one of the most important things you need to do is check the distance here to here. Make sure they're the same. that this is the same. Another thing I like to do whenever I put a new distributor in with an existing camshaft, I take the gear off of the old distributor and put it on here. To do that, you drive this pin right here out, and then this just slides off, and you can switch it with that one. I figure this gear has been working with that camshaft the entire life of the engine, They've made it together, they're happy together. Rather than try and put a new one, just go with the old one, switch it out. But this is the new cam phaser. If the distance isn't the same, you can loosen this screw right here and that set screw and adjust it so it is. Okay, here's how to do the cam phaser sync. If you can see, there's an LED on this thing. Yeah, you can see there's an LED on there. So have the engine at top dead center, compression cylinder one, and then get the distributor in there and lined up. And you want to have it so you can turn it clockwise. See, the LED just went off. And then from when it goes on, turning back counterclockwise, I don't know, give it like 45 degrees maybe. Now you can confirm that it's correct by turning the engine backwards until the LED goes off, then back on again. Then you should, as you're turning the engine clockwise towards top dead center, the LED should go off and then back on again before you get to top dead center for cylinder one compression. That's how you know you've got the cam phaser right. 